Greetings everyone. Welcome to another vlog of Tea Up with Stories. It's a Sunday morning with full of sunshine and here we are starting with a cup of Darjeeling tea. Summer has arrived in Bangalore around January end, but mornings are as usual pleasant and soothing. So tea and some chit chats in one of the favorite cozy corner at our place is a perfect start to a Sunday. Summer in Bangalore is very different than Kolkata. Though the temperature reaches up to 36 degrees Celsius in most daytimes, but evenings are breezy, cool and pleasant as temperature drops down to 23 degrees and gets more cold at midnight. But I have heard from people in Bangalore who grew up here that 10 to 15 years back, the picture of summer was very different and they didn't have to switch on even fan. But now it's changing. Until I Found You by Stephen Sanchez, Georgia Brown, Ian Fitcher from Hungama Music. Georgia, wrap me up in all your I want you in my arms so For today's Sunday special lunch, I have prepared Bengali style vegetable fried rice with cashews and raisins. And to go with that, a gravy of baby corn tossed with bell pepper and onion in chili garlic soy sauce. Before adding to the gravy, I have added a thin coating of egg, corn flour and all purpose flour on the baby corn for our extra crunch and seasoning. This combo has become one of our light dishes lately. It takes lesser time and turns out very tasty. Time to time, I replace the baby corn with chicken, mushroom or paneer, depending on availability and moods.
looking for a shower and minimalist skincare routine. In summers, I prefer having shower after finishing all the daily routine. The love for plants has grown inside me rapidly in past some years. Being surrounded by plants and taking care of them works on me like therapy. It helps my mind to slow down and take productive decisions. Vikram is preparing Rajma Chabal for today's dinner. He is using basic ingredients like onion, tomato, ginger garlic chilli paste and powdered masalas. After soaking the Rajma for 3 hours, I had to give 7 to 8 whistles to boil it. Lately, I have started enjoying the flavours of this dish and certainly it's not a forgettable one. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Do share and comment if you like the vlog. Please like, share and subscribe The Upbeat Stories. We will be back with another video in the coming week. Till then, stay tuned and take care. With love, Rituparna.